This video will look at degeneracy with the example of the three-dimensional particle in a box uh, model system. So our, three, our particle in a box wave function in three dimensions from the previous video depends on three quantum numbers, psi, nx, ny, and z, all of which are integers of dimensions x, y, and z, is a normalization constant times sine quantum number times pi x over length of box in x. Same thing, quantum number in y, pi y over length in y, times sine quantum number in z, pi z over length of box in z. Our energy for each of these states is equal to Planck's constant squared over 8 times mass of the particle times quantum number squared over length of box squared in each dimension summed up. All right, and then we had our, this was of course the solution to our Schrodinger equation, h psi equals e psi, where h equals minus h bar squared over 2m del squared inside the box, del squared being the Laplacian operator, uh, which is a sum of the second partial derivative in each dimension. All right, so if each of these l's is different, if the length of the box is different in each dimension uh, and not a ratio of each other, then all of these energy levels are going to be distinct with respect to nx, ny, and nz. But what if lx equals ly and equals lz? In that case, we have a cube. In that case, all of these are equal and none of the dimensions are special. In that case, all of these l's become just one big l and we can factor them out. We have e, nx, ny, and z equals h squared over 8ml squared, nx squared plus ny squared plus nz squared. So for the first state, e111, where each of these is equal to 1, that's no big deal. It's kind of the same as before. But now look at this. What if we have nx equal 1, ny equals 1, nz equals 2, e112, that's the same energy as if x and z equal 1 and y equals 2, or nx equals 2 and y and z equal 1. e112 equals e121 equals e211. So this is a state which we would refer to as triply degenerate. All three of these states have the same energy. It is threefold degenerate. Degeneracy is this the word for how many energy levels have the same energy as each other for a given model system. And as we saw, we got this by making this a cube. So degeneracy is typically the result of symmetry in a system. If we have Lx equals Ly, but they're not equal to Lz, we have less degeneracy, but making these all three equal, making it a cubed, gives us the most possible degeneracy for the particle in a box in three dimensions. So if we plot out in units of h squared over 8ml squared to where it's just the sum of these three quantum numbers squared, we plot out what the energies of these different states are. At 3, 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared, we just have the 1, 1, 1 state. 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared is 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. So 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, and 1, 1, 2 are triply degenerate at E equals 6, H squared over 8 ml squared. Similarly, 2, 2, 1 is triply degenerate at 9. 3, 1, 1, 3 squared plus 9, 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared is 9 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. Triply degenerate at 11. 2, 2, 2 is singly degenerate at 12. Then we get a six-fold degeneracy of 1, 2, 3. All permutations of 1, 2, 3 are of equal energy. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 1. All of those being a six-fold degeneracy, six-fold degenerate state at uh, E is 14 h squared over 8 ml squared. Then as we go up, 2, 2, 3, 1, 1, 4, et cetera, 1, 3, 3, et cetera, all form triply degenerate states as they go. So we see here that, as I said, degeneracy is a measure of how many energy levels have the same energy for a system. It is typically the, 
result of symmetry and in the case of the particle in a box it is only possible in multiple dimensions where we're setting multiple of these length of the box in different dimensions equal to each other.